okay so now we are at the end so what we have done is that we have created a graph here in the previous episode and we have compiled it and we are trying to execute this graph right we are trying to invoke it with our question what is lsm tree so ideally what should happen is that what is lsm tree is a relevant question because my uh, document or basically the url which i have sent is an article on lsm trees and mem tables right so basically it's an article on lsm trees so i want ideally the lm model should be able to answer it because that is the context all about so it should get the answer accordingly and should get it correctly so what i've done is that in the index file i am so here uh, this execute method is returning the state of the graph and in the index file when we are getting the response here right we are putting or we are printing it here in the response or we are printing it here in the browser so we, it says question asked with the question which is there in the graph state it says the answer generated with the generated answer so that should ideally print the question and answer after the execution of the graph on the model right so that is that's what we are trying to do here so let's quickly uh, try to achieve that i'm gonna build here this is good i'm gonna start my model here and yes with some warnings and this is the local host i will try to reload my local host here so this should return like uh, give me the answer of what is lsm trees actually so let's see what happens it uh, taking some time because it is invoking a lot of lm models and now here yeah this is the answer so question ask what is lsm tree Answer generated LSM tree stands for log structured mod tree. It is a data structure used for storing and retrieving data in a database. It is designed to efficiently handle large amounts of data and is commonly used in NoSQL database. Okay, this is good. This is what the answer has been generated from the document. So that is one piece. Now let's try to test our conditional edge where if we if we get an answer from the LLM model which was not relevant to the question, it should say, I don't know, right? And this is what we want to test so i'm gonna change my question a bit so instead of saying what is lsm tree i'm gonna say who is the author of the article so since this is uh whatever what uh, url which i have given is an article on lsm tree the word article is there used a lot in the document and that's why uh, the vectors from the vector search we will get some relevant documents right we'll get some relevant documents but the problem is whenever uh, the model will try to answer this question it will not be able to get the exact author because there is nowhere mentioned in the article that Saurabh Pratik is the author of the article there is my name there is my picture on the article uh, page but there is nowhere written that Saurabh Pratik is the um, author of this article so the LM model will ideally won't be able to guess that correctly and since it will not able to guess correctly uh, from here we will get the greater response we when we will create the answer generated by the model we will grade the greater response will be a no because this answer generated by the model was not relevant to the question and it should return sorry i am unable to answer this this is how the a graph should flow instead of giving me whatever uh, answer non-related answer we are getting from the model so i have updated the question here who is the author of the article now it's time to run the model again so I'm gonna build this and I'm gonna start this. So let's start. Now let me start. Get the local host here. It's time to reload this. So it will take some time. It will give me the question here and the answer which is generated by the model here. Let's see what does the model comes up with. Okay, so we have question asked who is the author of the article and the answer is sorry, I'm unable to answer this. And this is what we wanted. This is how our graph looks like yeah that's it uh, it is it is actually working correctly whatever we have tried to execute this is working correctly it is flowing through the entire structure we have expected it to be